We are hearing about howling, damaging winds at the North Shore tonight, with the heavy winds knocking out power in parts of Grand Marais. But still, the worst of it is south and west. Danny spoke to State Patrol about what they're seeing. Danny? Well, Carl, you can see on the MnDOT traffic map behind me that the red are the closed roads. You can see how many of those there are. The purple, no travel advised, and then the blue and the pink, that's ice and snow covered roads. Now, the conditions, as you mentioned, in western and southern Minnesota specifically are by far the worst in the state today. Here's what Highway 14 looked like just west of Mankato on Friday afternoon. Here is what Swift County looked like in western Minnesota. These are the conditions that prompted travel advisories and pulled plows off the roads. What we've seen is a lot of whiteout conditions and drifting and blowing snow across the roadways. And due to the drifting and whiteout conditions, a lot of the roadways have been closed. This includes I-90 west of Albert Lee and I-35 south of Albert Lee. Hundreds of miles of roads and highways in the region were shut down too, making travel beyond Hutchinson and Mankato practically impossible. At the request of Renville County in the western part of the state, Governor Walls declared a peacetime emergency to help stranded drivers. But we're recommending no travel until the weather conditions improve and also we can, MnDOT can get caught up on the roadways. Sergeant Troy Christensen with the Minnesota State Patrol says that's not only for your safety, but for the troopers safety as well. If people are having a hard time traveling, troopers are also having a hard time difficulties getting there as well. And that's another reason why we're closing down some of the main corridors uh, like I-90. So we don't have to worry about people being stranded on the interstate. Luckily, conditions should improve by Saturday. Especially with these extreme low temperatures, we want to make sure that people don't travel and just stay home and wait until everything improves so they can get to where they're going safely uh, later tomorrow afternoon. So just looking at this MnDOT traffic map, you can see that travel is pretty much open through most of northern Minnesota, the Twin Cities Metro, and southeast Minnesota near Rochester. But it is still slick out there. You've probably seen that if you were driving today in a lot of spots in the metro. So just take it slow. Carla. Very good advice. Thank you so much, Danny. I appreciate it.